But today, we're not just bringing you coverage of the race. For the very first time, the Stony Brook Media Group is taking over the Computer Science Building to present to you the Bagel Express Alumni Party Deck to celebrate 10 years of Roth Regatta Alive. So now, let's hear from our live reporter, Brittany Dietz, so she can show us where our alumni are now. Thanks, guys. I'm Brittany Dietz, your host here at the Bagel Express Alumni Deck. This is the 10th anniversary live of Roth Regatta. What an amazing accomplishment. And sitting with me, I have the very first live Roth Regatta crew from 2014. If you'd all like to introduce yourself, starting from my right. My name's uh, Brendan Jones. I was uh, an anchor slash play-by-play -play guy for the first Roth Regatta live, and now I work at Barstool Sports. I'm a supervising producer. Hey everyone, my name is Bushra Malik. I was a sideline producer. I am now the director of social media and digital marketing for New York City Health and Hospitals, and I own my own business. Hi, my name is Jessica Miata, and I was a play-by-play -play producer, and now I am working at the New York Times as a talent acquisition manager. Hey guys, I'm Zali Ibrahim. I was on the sideline at Roth Regatta, and I'm a senior producer at ABC News Live. I'm Karima Charles. Um, I oh my gosh, who's it up? <laughs> um, I was a crew. I was a crew member. It's it's been a long time, so it takes some time. Um, and I currently work in legal marketing. I do communications. And I'm Andy Mai. I used to be an audio engineer for the first show, and I'm now a producer for ABC News Live. Nice. All right. Thank you all so much for being here. Unfortunately, some of our alumni couldn't make it, but they still want to show their support in honor of Roth Regatta. So let's take a look at what they had to say about this event. Students from Stony Brook School of Communication and Journalism, also known as the J School, have hosted its annual Roth Regatta broadcast. Now entering its 10th year of the show, let's take a look at how some of our alumni feel about it. Looking back on that day, everything was so new. Like the technology that we used was so new. Even putting together a live show was so brand new for us. We didn't all exactly know what we were doing, but we definitely had fun giving it a try. It is so much fun building that outside setup and just kind of rolling with the punches as things come. Whether it's Being scripts, uh, coordinating packages, every aspect of the broadcast is really well thought out. There's no better memory for my four years at Stony Brook than announcing the classic Roth regatta. I mean, watching dozens of college students make an absolute fool of themselves and jumping into that disgusting water while they're making crazy boats. I remember feeling so proud that we worked together to pull this off. I'm so grateful for the friendships I've formed through experiences like this, bonds that have lasted me until this day. I remember all of our classmates coming together after learning so much about broadcasting from writing, producing the tech, and just coming together and executing that show bringing it to life with so much passion. I think we pulled it off, especially because it was so much fun. The atmosphere was very conducive to our live broadcast and our success, and we really just played off of the uh, student body's emotions and the race, and, um, you know, it's only set up the School of Journalism for years to come. I think I left that day, and I said to myself, this is why I want to go into TV broadcast journalism this is what it's all about, and it just further cemented for me that that was the place that I needed to be in my career. And fast forward to 10 years later, and I'm still on the TV side of journalism. And that's all for me. I'm Vyong Hao, reporting to you from Rothpot. It's true. I wish they could have been here today, but it's okay. I'm sitting with you all. So it's been 10 years. A lot can change in 10 years. Obviously, we have this set up here. So, Miss Producer, I would like to know, what was that original conversation like with um, starting the show? You know, did you want to be producer? Were you offered the position? Yeah, definitely. So, um, I think it just kind of all fell together after Wolfstock. We were like, we loved doing Wolfstock so much that we were like, let's just do it again. And um, personally, I've always loved the producer role. Uh, I love the chaos of the behind the scenes and just like that adrenaline brunch that you get um, working in the control room. So um, I, I don't even remember like how it came about that, you know, I became producer. I guess like I kind of showed interest and Phil at the time was like, you know, I, you did producer for Wolf Stab, so like, let's do it again. Um, and it just, it all fell together. All the pieces fell together and it was, it was a great day. Yeah. Did you run into any difficulties trying to get scripts into the system or packages created or? Oh my God, yes. We ran into definitely a lot of 
technical issues. Um, in 10 years, it's a lot calmer on the actual day than it felt like 10 years ago. We were running around like chickens without heads. Like yeah. we just trying to get the packages in and the scripts together. And I remember specifically for this show, um, I had to build the play-by-play -play, um, manual of every book, of every book and information on every boat, which was like, I worked on for weeks trying to learn about every boat, which was just, it was crazy, but it all came together, so. Yeah. And what was your thought process like when the show was live? Um, I don't even, I think you just try to pull that shit out because you like, you're like, you know what you have to do. You can't think about anything else and you just go, go, go. Like, you just try to like block everything out happening, the chaos, like if something goes wrong, just you know what you keep moving the show goes on right definitely all right and for my play-by-play -play, sideline people how was the energy out in the crowd do you remember it was a while was it maybe quiet or i mean i think it's similar to what jess said it's like you kind of want to block out all the noise and just focus on what you have to do and i remember as soon as the light went on it was like all right let's just get to the end of this thing so we could say we did it but um as you could kind of tell out there, it's super energetic and there's a lot going on. There's music playing and there's people that are jumping in the water just to have fun. So you kind of just have to focus. But it was really yeah. fun. It was really cool. Yeah. And uh, I remember being a good day. Yeah. And was it um, exciting to interview people or were people more excited to be interviewed because they were on camera? You know, that was like their moment of fame or was it a little bit awkward? Or I remember I interviewed a couple people. I remember I interviewed winners at the desk. That was really cool. And that was uh, that was fun because they obviously had just won and they like wanted to talk about it and whatnot. But I think like maybe pre-races, did you get into that? Yeah, so I mean, Bushra and I were on the sidelines and it was just a lot of like pulling people like, do you want to be on cam? Do you want to be on cam? And it was kind of just like this melee because you had people, you know, going out to the races, trying to get their teams and their boats done. And, and it was just so much, but you know, you, you were able to kind of pull those like key little fun, you know, chats um, beforehand and it, it what really made it fun was like not knowing who you were going to get, what they were going to say. Um, but, you know, just kind of, you know, we did plenty of practices, but you can't practice live, right? You can't anticipate who's out there, what they're going to say, what technical issues you're going to run into. And I mean, we ran into quite a few, um, but it all just worked out in the end. It was such an incredible experience. Absolutely. And for my crew and audio people, was it difficult trying to recruit people to help out with the show or were people really willing to come help out? Um, it was a minute ago, but I feel like I can remember everyone was excited to do it because, you know, why not? And we were all journalism majors. We all wanted to do this in our, you know, future. Um, so it really wasn't that hard from what I could remember. And on the day of, it was hectic and crazy and stressful, but it was fun at the same time. Yeah. What about audio? Were there any issues, you know, from it was, back to the pond, back to the studio? It was definitely loud out there. Um, I know whoever's doing, doing the audio for this show is probably adjusting on the fly at every moment of the show because there are people screaming, there are people yelling, but then there are like quiet parts in between races where there's not much going on, but there's a little chatter. And I remember Dahlia mentioning that she had music blasting into her ear while she was on the sideline. So we always have to account for that for our reporters. Yeah, and I'll open this one up to everyone. You know, when that button stopped, was, was pressed, stopped being recording live, you know, how did you feel? Was it a moment of relief? Were you sad or? You know, what was going through your heads for each of you in your positions? I think it was just a breath of fresh air for all of us. But I think we also, we learned that sometimes things can go wrong and things can get crazy. But it just prepares you for the real world. It's happened as long as before you realize, oh, right, that wasn't that bad. So. Yeah. And it came right after Wolfstock, I believe, where we did this show. And it was kind of like a sigh of relief. We were, were students. We're um, maybe juniors and seniors. And we're, this might be like kind of our last big thing that we're doing on campus so there's definitely a moment to cherish and work yeah and what about you producer you know that was that's essentially your baby right there you know you just, yeah. this four hour live so, show it's crazy because makes of work is over and like i don't i don't even remember how long the show was but it's over in like a blink of an eye so it's like a definitely a mix of feelings it was like i remember being like oh okay it's, it's over but you know, happy that it, it did go so well. You know, obviously we ran into our technical issues, but overall we, I remember, I don't know if you remember this, Dahlia, but we went out to the diner to just like eat our hearts out and like kind of celebrate. That's where we would decompress. Yeah. all of our emotions. The diner, we would decompress. The diner, like the yeah. <laughs> no, but you know, it, 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 it was just such a reward. You know, um, there's something about being the first to do something so great. You know, I, I, I think what's really eye-opening about this is that 
this was 10 years ago for us. Like, I don't mean to age us, but like, that is a long time. That is a very long time. And it just, it's really heartwarming to see that the tradition is still here. It's still being carried on. And you guys have this amazing new, you know, you know, your newsroom, your control room, your studio, and it's amazing. And 10 years and we still all want the same, right? Yeah. <laughs> no. All right. And one final question for anyone to answer. Um, what was your biggest takeaway from Roth or Gata that you got to bring into the careers you have now? Me? We get tech, yeah. even. Go, go. <laughs> um, chaos uh, follows you around in this industry, right? Like, it was definitely a chaotic day, and I think we all had fun. And like Buster said, it was like a sigh of relief when it was all over, and you kind of look back and you're like, I enjoyed every second of that, but it was very chaotic. And I think as soon as you get into the real world, you kind of realize that as well. Like, live news, chaos nonstop. I do a lot of content, and you never know what's going to happen, you know, when, when you're out there. So it was very much. Um, a uh, learning experience and a positive one because you do, in fact, take what you've done here, whether it be here or Wolfstock or wherever it may be, into the real world. Okay. And, and I mean, and he did live news in college, and live news is all I've done since college. And I've taken that into my career, and this was just such a great stepping stone to get there. All right. That's great. Thank you guys so much for being here. That's all the time we have, but let's send it back to the studio to set sail on Roth Regatta 2024.